I stood there, heart pounding, as Samantha reached out to shake my hand. Her smile was warm, her gaze approving, and I could hardly believe the moment was real. Congratulations, Samuel, she exclaimed, her voice echoing lightly over the gentle lap of water against the dock. You've not only graduated from your feminization classes, but you were also voted sexiest sissy of the year. Dressed in my black ruffled dress, I felt a mixture of pride and surreal excitement. These past months had been a whirlwind of learning, experimenting, and embracing a side of myself I had always kept hidden. Samantha, as my mentor and coach, had guided me through the complexities of fashion, makeup, and the subtle art of carrying oneself with both grace and confidence. You really know how to dress to make the most of your long legs, Samantha continued, her tone both teasing and sincere. And you look stunning in that black mini dress. I blushed, grateful for her compliments and the reassurance they brought. It was one thing to see myself in the mirror and feel transformed, it was another to hear it validated by someone I admired so much. As she handed me the certificate, her other hand squeezed mine with encouragement. I don't always find graduates so hot. She joked, winking playfully. You have my number if you need anything. Her wink doubled, infusing the air with lighthearted conspiracy. Standing there, with the cool breeze coming off the water, I felt a new chapter of my life turning. This wasn't just about dressing up or playing a part, it was about self-expression and being true to oneself. Samantha's support and the acknowledgement of my peers filled me with a newfound confidence. I knew then that my journey was just beginning, and I was eager to see where this new path would lead. As Samantha and the others began to disperse, I lingered on the wooden dock, clutching the certificate in my hands. The water was a calm, glassy surface that mirrored the gray skies above, a perfect backdrop to my tumultuous emotions. I couldn't help but reflect on the first day I walked into the feminization class, unsure and tentative. The memory brought a smile to my face, I had come so far. My thoughts were interrupted by a soft tap on my shoulder. Turning around, I found Mia, a fellow classmate with an infectious enthusiasm and the kind of bold makeup skills I admired. Hey, superstar, care to share some of your spotlight? She teased, her eyes twinkling with mischief. Only if you share some of your makeup secrets, I replied, and we both laughed. Mia had been another pillar during my transformation, always ready to lend a brush or a supportive word when I fumbled with eyeliner or contour palettes. We decided to walk along the dock, our heels clicking in unison on the wood. Mia nudged me gently, you know, Samuel, seeing you embrace yourself has been a highlight for me. It's like watching someone become who they're meant to be. Her words warmed me, and I felt an overwhelming sense of gratitude. Thanks, Mia, it's been quite the adventure, hasn't it? I can't believe it's only the beginning. Only the beginning indeed, she echoed. What's next for you? Any grand plans with this newfound fame? I chuckled, shaking my head slightly. I think I want to explore more of this. Maybe help others find their way, like how Samantha helped us. There's something fulfilling about seeing someone transform into their true self. Mia nodded, understanding my sentiment. That sounds like a perfect plan. And hey, if you ever need a makeup artist for your endeavors, you know who to call. As we reached the end of the dock, I paused to look back at the small gathering still chatting animatedly near the water's edge. The journey here hadn't been easy. It required courage to face both myself and societal expectations. But as I stood there, certificate in hand and a friend by my side, I felt ready to take on the world, one high-heeled step at a time.